welcome viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on extensive revision of the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 1. So if you haven't seen other episodes, please go to our YouTube channel and check for playlists that contains these extensive revision of each and every question from this paper. So questions are grouped in according to the paper and the topics. This it's important for you, especially if you're struggling with a specific topic. You go to a specific topic, you find a series of questions from different papers as far as 2017. If you are new to this channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you find this video to be helpful, please consider hitting the like button and share with also your colleagues. Let us look at question 10. Turn A. The universal set E contains elements 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Set A contains prime numbers and set B is a set of 3, 6, 9. List A union B complement. So we know B but we need to compare it with E. what is not in B with what is in A. So what is A? A is the prime numbers. Then the next question is what is a prime number? So a prime number or prime numbers are numbers greater than 1 that only have two factors. 1 and the number itself. So we are going to look for the numbers in the universal set that only have two factors and those numbers are greater than one. That's what will be set A, which is the prime numbers. So let us see list A, set A. So the number need to be greater than one. So these, these are out. So what do we have now? So we are going to have a 2, a 2 as a factor 1 and itself, a 3, a 4 not because in a 4, 2 can go there and 1 can go there and the 4 itself so it's not a prime number, then a 5 yes, 6 no, then we have 7, then we end there. So these 4 numbers are the prime numbers. Then we need to compare these numbers with what is not in B. Then we combine them to make a new set. So what is in B? So this is what is in B. So what is outside B which is now B complement. So B complements contains 0, 1, 2, 3 out, then we go to 4, then we go to 5, then we go to 7, then 8. So these are B complements. So these are the elements that are not found in set B according B complement. Then we combine them with what is in A which is 2, 3, 5, then 7. Then we form a new set. So this set which will be A union B complement. So what will be the set? So the set now will contain a 0, a 1, a 2, because there is a 3 here, then there is a 4, then there will be a 5, then there will be a 7, then there will be a 8. So this will be the list of the elements. So this will be the answer to question E. 
Once you do that, you are good to go. So take note, we're going to have a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8. So 3 is the only element in B that will appear because 3 is appearing in the prime number, which is set A. So it's going to repeat there. Otherwise, these other two elements will not be there because we have taken them because they appeared in B. We're looking for B complement. Number B, the following diagram shows a regular hexagon right pyramid. Find the number of planes of symmetry of the pyramid. So we're looking for the number of planes of symmetry. So when you, when you hear the word the number of planes of symmetry, you are talking about the line of symmetry, except that in this case we are talking, we are dealing with him a three dimension. So the plane of symmetry deals with a 3D. Then the line of symmetry is a 2D. It's the same thing. So when you are given n regular polygon with n number of sides, so the number of sides are n. So in this case, n is equal to 6 because it's an hexagon. So a polygon, any regular polygon with n number of sides who have n lines of symmetry. So in this case, it also have six lines of symmetry because an hexagon has in six sides. So how can we tell that? So if I got this one, so what I'm going to do is I can start from one point. So I'll join this plane here. This is, will be the first one, will be the first one. Then the number two will cut this shape into two half from the center. So this will be number two. Then number three will pass through this. Then the we'll meeting this is the center. Then number four will pass through this one. Then number five will pass through this. Remember, we started with this one. This is our starting point. Then the last one, which is number six, will pass through this point. So this is five. Then this is six. So this is how you arrive at six. So just to emphasize. A regular polygon with n number of sides will have n lines of symmetry. So if the number of sides is n, then it's going to have n line of planes of symmetry. So in this case, we're dealing with a regular hexagon, which is a light pyramid, will have six planes of symmetry. So this is how you answer to get these max so here is in 60 planes of symmetry then for a we've already answered is this set which will be the correct one